What's up? It's your boy Mark Gray in the DMV. You are wherever you are. Let's check out how they did it back in the day on MLBBro.com. MLB Bro presents Black in the Day. Few MLB bros got the opportunity to control the game between the white lines, but then he became the first and brought a whole new flavor to calling balls, strikes, and outs. Emmett Ashford became the first African-American umpire to work a major league game on 1966 when he was given the opportunity to call the Cleveland Indians versus the Washington Senators game at a ballpark that was known as D.C. Stadium before it was later renamed to RFK. Ashford had a gregarious personality that helped him overcome growing up in a segregated part of Los Angeles, but he was more than just a competent athletic official. He became such a personality that he made a cameo appearance in the fictional Negro League epic Bingo Long Traveling All-Stars and Motor Kings. After spending 12 years umpiring the Pacific Coast League, he developed a personality by doing his thing. His calls were different at home plate and down the baseline, and that earned him much respect. The World War II Navy veteran left his post office job to hone his craft, officiating college and football basketball tournaments as well. He was also called to umpire the All-Star Game in 1967, but ultimately, Ashford died of a heart attack at age 65 in Marina Del Rey, California. Upon his death, then Commissioner Bowie Kuhn recognized him as, quote, the first black umpire in the major leagues. His magnanimous nature was sternly tested, but he was unshaken and uncomplaining, remaining colorful, lively, and the personality he was all his life. Ashford was cremated and his ashes were interred in Cooperstown, New York, home of baseball's Hall of Fame. And that's how the bros got down black in the day. I'm Mark Gray for MLBBro.com. MLBBro.com, covering black and brown major leagues. 